I try and, if I can possibly, sometimes I feel, oh god, I'm doing this. But I try and keep it within my shoe uh, a little bit because I know how distracting it is to other people. Because it's not always, uh, it helps you, but it's just getting really bugging me up over me. Yeah, I need that. I must say.
But there's only so much you can do about messing your face up, isn't there? I mean, and actually, I think, you know, it's not like this middle where this, you know, uh, I think there's a visible breath, I suppose, for anything else. But not like all of the ones, but you can see it out of the corner. I can't see anything you're doing, so, uh, uh, but, uh, I'm not trying to think about it. and let us know how you're getting on. You can do that through our My Career platform, which you will have access to as a graduate. You will just need to register for a graduate account, or you can email us at gradsupportunit at bathspa.ac.uk. You'll also be surveyed 15 months after graduation by the National Graduate Outcome Survey. So make sure you fill that out and let us know how you're doing, as your responses will help to shape our services for future Bath Spa University students. We're here to help you in any way we can with life after graduation and congratulations on your graduation day. Being part of our alumni community is just a continuation of your journey with us. We still want to hear from you, we still want to talk with you, we still want to hear your news, we want you to be involved in the university continuously because you're important to us, you make us the university that we are. So we can support you as a graduate through numerous ways including career support, they can help you with your CVs, with your interviews, there's graduate placements, there's graduate internships, there's Emerge in the studio which can support creatives in their development and so much more. It's about keeping in contact with us so that we can see how we can best support you. All you need to do is ask, all you need to do is keep in contact. There are numerous ways in which you can support your university and our students post your graduation. Is there a way in which you can support the current students or the applicants coming into the university? Would you be willing to give a talk at an open day or an applicant visit day? Would you be willing to give a talk to some of our current students about where your degree took you and the role that you're doing now? Do you work in an organisation that could provide a placement opportunity for a student or an internship? Are you able to support financially as well? So we have the Harvard Fund and various other funds which support students to enable them to fulfil their potential while they're here. Those who are facing financial barriers sometimes don't, don't have the ability to take up all the opportunities, so there are opportunities to support financially as well. 
but time, expertise, finance, all of those, all of those go into how you can support our students. So there are loads of ways to keep in touch. We send out e-news monthly, which has lots of information about what the university is up to, what our students are up to, what our staff are up to. We provide you with information about all of the events that are taking place on campus, which are student or staff led or, or external people coming in. So there's many ways in which you can still be involved. You can email us, call us, write to us, send us postcards. We'd love to receive a postcard from you all to let us know what you're up to. That'd be fabulous. The main thing is we want you to keep in contact with us and we want you to feel part of our community. Um, you are part of our community and you're really important and we wish you all the very best in everything that you do. We know you'll be amazing.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Good morning. Actually, it's a celebration, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. Oh, excellent. Great to see you all here at the forum. Um, particularly, uh, welcome to our graduates for your celebration and to your guests. I hope it's a lovely, lovely event planned for you today. Uh, my name is Mark McGuinness. I'm a member of the academic staff at the university and a member of the senior team. I'm just here to welcome you. Uh, to take us through some preliminaries before we get underway with the formalities. Um, so I've got two jobs to do, really. The first one is to spend a couple of minutes just going through, particularly with our graduates, how the ceremony will run so you know what to expect and you're comfortable with how it all flows. Um, so you have a smooth running. So I'll run through those uh, in a moment. My second job is then as Master of Ceremonies, where I will um, take us through the different stages of the, um, of the, uh, of the formal ceremony, um, from procession through to presentation, conferment, and then the closing. So there's four stages. So I'll take us through those as we go through. But before that, I'd just like to say, first of all, some thank yous, if I, if I may, if you'll um, let me. Firstly, to Bath Forum. So this building is actually a grade two star listed building in a city that's awash with heritage assets. This building's somewhat special to the people of Bath because unlike many of those buildings for which the city is world renowned, and rightly so, this building's in daily use. The people of Bath come here to listen to music, to listen to speakers, uh, to watch shows. Uh, children use it, schools have events here as well. Uh, my own kids, when they were littler, some of the parents will remember these events, I'm sure, in their, own, uh, in their own lives. My children across this stage are dressed as reindeers. It's very special to us. So really grateful to the staff at uh, Bath Forum um, for working with us to bring our events here once again. I'd also like to thank our friends at Bath College um, for letting us borrow their very nearby facilities, thus making it a much more convenient event um, particularly for graduates with robing and photography being so, so close to this venue. So thank you to our colleagues there as well. And I would also like to say thank you to my colleagues, um, the me very many colleagues who've worked long hours on top of their day jobs in some cases uh, to bring these events this week together. Uh, they've worked diligently to put on what is a major public event and you'll see the benefits of that today. I would ask if you may, if, if you would, could we give them a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That makes my next staff meeting much easier. Thank you. Right. So um, I'd also like to say a big welcome to people watching on the live stream, wherever you are in the world. Um, a big hello from everyone in the room. Let's have a cheer for everyone on the live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. Let's hope you're somewhere exotic. I don't know, you choose. Um, but welcome, I um, hope you follow everything and enjoy just as much as people in the room will as well. Now, if you're on the live stream, you won't need to check if your mobile phone is switched off or on silent. And that's the first check-in from members of the audience here. Do check that your phone is switched off as I go through the rest of these preliminaries. That would be appreciated. So, your graduation ceremony. Wow. We worked really hard this year to graduate all those students who were postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. We wanted to make sure that when we got to this point in time, we were able to graduate students at the right time. So we spent much of the first part of this year in this building graduating all those who'd been delayed. You're on time, and I'm really, really pleased to say that. You've been through so much. Um, you could never have imagined the difficulties that you have experienced to get here today when you started your courses, particularly undergraduates. Three-year courses, all years affected by things that we never really could have imagined. Just well done for getting here today, folks. Just really, really well done. Yeah. So about that, I'm going to ask you all to stand, if you're able to, to uh, welcome the academic procession. They'll be led in by a fanfare from our live music here at the front. Um, and you will notice that I'm wearing some colourful robes, and so are the graduates. Well, the academic procession will all be wearing 
the robes of their most recent institution. That's what we do, that's what you're doing today, you're wearing our robes. It's a very colorful, splendid affair, and they will come down the middle of the aisle in the, um, um, on the ground floor. They will come up to this ramp in front of me and then enter the stage. And they've all been given seat numbers. They'll all go to their seat that they've been assigned, I'm sure. What could possibly go wrong? But we'll see how we go on. And the last people to arrive on the stage are the VIP party, which contains the university provost, who's the most senior academic in the procession today. So she will be in the seat in the middle, in the very middle at the front, and the uh, protocol is that as I've asked everyone to stand for the entry of the procession, the procession will also remain standing until the provost is in place and has taken her seat. And that is the cue for everybody in the auditorium to do the same. That makes things um, really neat and happens uh, simultaneously. So if you would follow that instruction, I'd be grateful. As master of with um, uh, helpful descriptions about where we are in the ceremony, um, some formal scripted things that I have to say as part of the um, conferment of awards uh, and inviting the various course readers up onto the stage to uh, read out the course, uh, the uh, graduates' names as they process across the stage. Hats play a big part in the ceremony. There's different types, there's fluffy ones. Yours are quite hard, I think, aren't they? Um, you have to keep yours on. And in a desperate attempt, to retain control of our students, we don't let you take your hat off until part way through the ceremony. You'll be given that instruction by the provost. So keep your hats on. Staff will be invited to do so earlier in the ceremony. I told you it was bizarre, but it's all about control, I'm sure. So when you reach the stage, there is a set of steps. If you do need to use the ramp, just indicate on the way there is a ramp. We can, we can bring you onto the stage if you need to use that. But the steps are here. I will greet you at the top of the steps, do a final name check before you're um, launched onto the stage, um, receiving the whoops of joy from your audience, no pressure audience, uh, as you cross the stage. And you will be acknowledged by the university provost who will be in the middle of the stage greeting you as you pass and congratulating you. To get to the steps, it's very simple. If you've never graduated before, which I guess that applies to most of you, um, just follow the instructions you're given by our ushers. So we've got Naomi and we've got Steve, we've given you a wave, and there's others in the room as well. They'll be issuing instructions, asking you to stand at key points and just follow their instructions. They will get you here to the right place in the right order, and that's important. You've been seated in a particular order, which should neatly follow the order of the readers' lists. So don't chop and change your orders to be with your friends or anything like that, please. It will make it very difficult for us. So, as you cross the stage, receive that applause, and you'll see on the other side of the stage, there's a set of steps, you'll go down those, and then you'll be guided back around the auditorium to the very seat you're sat in now. So, essentially, this morning, you'll get your steps in, here in this auditorium by doing an anti-clockwise circuit and just follow our instructions. It's really as simple as that. The only pressure is the people who are first. Who's first? Because everyone else follows you. Great. Okay. So, a uh, couple of uh, things just before I go to housekeeping. Um, at the end of the ceremony, we will exit all the graduates in a procession uh, across the front floor to the doors you see on your left, uh, which go straight out onto the street. Uh, there is good reason for that, and that is we have got a road closure um, notice in force in the road that that leads onto, so it's safe for people to exit into the street there in, in large numbers. So we'll exit the graduates first. Um, do move away from the building so that there's room for people coming behind you. Um, other audiences, no pressure audiences, have given that as an opportunity to give them a final round of applause as they leave the building in a graduate procession. So we'll see how, how you get on with that. And when the final graduates have left the building, then if everybody else in the room would like to leave by their nearest available exit, that's fine. Um, we're just trying to make sure that people don't all rush to the back of the building out, into the main, uh, out of the main exits, which lead onto a road which isn't closed today and is actually quite a busy road. 
and with the volume of people inside, we do need to manage that carefully. So hopefully that's clear. Graduates out first uh, into that side door uh, and into the street, and then obviously people uh, and family and supporters, very welcome to join your loved ones um, after that. So finally, a few short housekeeping announcements. Can I invite you to take one final opportunity to check phones for um, silent or preferably switched off. Should you need first aid or any assistance, just get the attention of any one of the staff in the room here today and they will guide you to it. And in the unlikely event that there is a need for us to uh, run an emergency evacuation of the building, there will be a very clear instruction to do so and you will be guided out of the nearest exit um, as part of the exit plan. I'll just close by saying personally, as a father of two school-aged children, many of you are or will go on to become teachers, just how much admiration and respect I have built for the teaching profession over the course of the last three years. I love my children, but I never want to spend 10 weeks locked in a room with them <laughs> ever again. You do an amazing job in education. Qualified, properly trained, and developed teachers are a huge asset to our country. I think anyone who went through the last three years knows that more than they ever imagined. I'd like to say thank you. So, thank you. So, if you would all stand, we await the entry of the academic procession. Graduates and your guests. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon the University Provost, Professor Georgina Andrews, to open this graduation ceremony. Graduates, colleagues, distinguished guests, an exceptionally, perhaps uncomfortably, warm welcome 
to the Bath Spa University summer graduations. Colleagues, please feel free to remove your hats. Today is a day of celebration, and this is an opportunity for us to share in your joy. I am honored to be one of the first to congratulate you on your success. School of Education, Class of 2022, you are amazing. Congratulations. I'd like to start by inviting our graduating students to think back to your first day at university. You have achieved so much since then. You have faced exceptional challenges. You have persevered and you have succeeded. We are incredibly proud of you. Your friends and family have paid a big part in supporting you on your journey. In a moment, I would like to ask our graduating students to stand up and give a big round of applause to the people who helped you get to this point. Some of those people may be in this room. Others may not be here in person, but you know who they are. Okay. Please can I invite graduates to stand up. Now make some noise for your friends and family. Thank you, you can sit down. In a moment, I'd also like to ask you to join me in thanking those staff who have taught you and supported you in other ways throughout your studies. I am delighted to lead a group of outstanding academics and professionals who are thrilled by your success. No need to stand up this time, but please thank them with me now. A university is a community of learners, and you will always be part of our community. Bath Spa will always be your university. So please, tell the world about us and keep in touch. Let us know if we can help you in any way in future. Please also let us know about your successes and your experiences in the coming years. You are graduating in uncertain times. However, through your studies, you have developed the academic and professional skills that will allow you to make the world a better place. Einstein affirmed, education is that which remains if one has forgotten everything he learned. In other words, the true value of education is not just in the subject content and facts. It is rather the ability to think critically, to solve problems creatively, to innovate, and perhaps above all, to continue to learn. As Bath Spa University graduates, you have proven through your hard work that you have this ability. Graduates from the School of Education may choose to work in schools or colleges or with very young children. Others may work as education policy advisors or support international development through education. Or you may choose to take up another role. Whatever you decide to do, you have the toolkit to make a difference. Einstein also said, 
Never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than one with all the facts. My wish for you is may you be creative, have big dreams, innovate, and never stop learning. Finally, in a moment, I would like you all once again to show your appreciation in the loudest possible way. School of Education, Class of 2022, we salute you. We now move to the presentation of awards to graduates of Bath Spa University and across to receive the graduates from the School of Education. I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Combined Awards. Lewis Broadhurst. <laughs> Alex Caskey-Jones. <laughs> Ollie Kaywood. Megan Dix. Sarah Farmer. Beth Gee. Jane Harry. Charlotte Hillier. Fern Larson. Georgia Martin. Jordan Morris. Victoria Palser. <laughs> Abigail Price. <laughs> Jasmine Ruggiero. <laughs> Emily Stiff. Layla Thomas. <laughs> Megan Truebody. <laughs> I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Combined Awards. Emily Clark. Maria Golding. <laughs> Yasmin Rawl. <laughs> Jessica Smith.
I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Early Childhood Studies. Elizabeth Blythe. <laughs> Isabel Brooks. <laughs> Scarlett Brown. <laughs> Izzy Dixon. Dallas Gown. <laughs> Abigail Jones. <laughs> Davinia Libana Hernandez. <laughs> Wei Leo. <laughs> Sorrel Parkin. Anya Rodriguez Olhea. Charlie Smart. Emily Treasure. Jamila Williams. Shi Auahan Duang. I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Early Childhood Studies, City of Bristol College. Amelia Bond. <laughs> Lucy Clark. <laughs> Joanne Duffy. Lucy Filer. Jade Gear. Zoe Goff. Bethany Greenhead. Gina Irwin. Jenny Phillips. <laughs> Wendy Shaw. I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Early Childhood Studies, New College Swindon. Cara Bates. Amy Bedford. Martha Ilbury Holiday. Tia Manning. I present the following candidates for the award of foundation degree in early childhood studies, New College Swindon. Caitlin Harvey. Leah Humphreys. I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education, Primary and Early Years. Selassie Amy. Abigail Bell. Phoebe Bellaby. Scarlett Black. Megan Blythe. Tansy Bowton. Clara Bowater. Sarah Brockhill. 
Luena Buckfield. Sophie Cooper. Hannah Croker. Jake Davey. Molly Eatwell. Amran Elmi. Olivia Finn. Abby Franklin. Felicity Frailing. Amy Gian Francesco. Demi Greenoff. Grace Hale. Jessica Halloway. Lottie Hazel. Liv Hellowell. Ellie Holloway. Becca Holman. Eleanor Hoskins. Gemma Howell. Lucy Ingram. Eran James Bailey. Shana Kersey. Alexandra Lysik. Rebecca McGee. Tia Maiden Dixon. Jack Martin. Bethany Memory. Kieran Milsom. Emily Mitchell. Charlotte Morecambe. Amy Morgan. Tash Mountjoy. Darcy Node. Emily North. Lainey Oliver. Chloe Phillips. Matilda Reed. Rebecca Reed. Emma Rice. Hannah Ridland. Stephanie Rowe. Rob Sandy. Danielle Seaborn. Caitlin Seabright. Kathleen Shaler. Hannah Smith. Lucy Spratt. Georgina Stollard. 
Jessica Starling. Tom Stevens. Molly Taylor. Regan Tomling, <laughs> Isabel Walker, <laughs> Daniel Watts, <laughs> Cara Westlake, <laughs> Martha White, <laughs> Nalani White Winters. Jasne Williams, Jack Wilson, Ashley Wilson, I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Education Studies. Molly Barton. <laughs> Annabelle Blockwell. <laughs> Elise Bridewell. Paige Brooks, <laughs> Maya Crawford, <laughs> Jamie Dorr, <laughs> Leah Fanshaw, <laughs> Jessica Garcia. Harvey Luca, <laughs> Chloe Mortimer, <laughs> Maria Munoz Azcarain, <laughs> Lucy Peckham. Anna Sanders, <laughs> Laura Snook, <laughs> Isabel Walsh, <laughs> Abby Worthington. I present the following candidates for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Development and Education. Katie Cooper. Freya Farnham. Kate Griffiths. Paige Lacey. I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Early Childhood Studies, Hugo Turvey. I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Education, Early Childhood Studies, Suzanne Brain. I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Educational Leadership, Naomi Collier. 
Ashley Trudgeon. I present the following candidates for the award of Master of Arts in Educational Practice, Michael Brown. I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Inclusive Education, Susanna Santos. I present the following candidates for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Special Educational Needs Coordination, Steph Mandelena. Heather Saunders. <laughs> Ashley Whitbread. <laughs> I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Specific Learning Difficulties, Dyslexia, Laura Donnelly. I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Professional Practice in Higher Education, Sarah Wilton-Reed. I present the following candidate for the award of Master of Arts in Professional Practice, Jackie Han. <laughs> Sam Language. I present the following candidates for the award of Education Studies. Esme Hubak. Uh, I present the following candidates for the award of MA Early Childhood Studies, Mira KC. I present the following candidates for the award of education, primary and early years, Ruby Leach. I present the following candidate for the award of education, primary and early years and sociology combined, Jade Stevens. I present the following candidate for the award of Education Studies, Gemma Daniels. I present the following candidate for the award of PhD in Education with a thesis title, Using Creative Writing to Explore Identity Formation a participatory study with adolescents in post-conflict Colombia. Camila Fuentes Diaz. I present the following candidate for the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Professional Practice with the thesis title, Leadership Development in the Royal Navy, the role of core values and sense-making tools in the development and sustainment of effective leaders. James Martin Lupini.
I present the following candidate for the award of Doctor of Philosophy, Professional Practice, with the thesis title, The Policy, Practice and Ethical Leadership Challenges for the Police Service of Arriving at a Proportionate Investigative Response in Cases of Non-Recent Sexual Abuse Alleged Against Deceased Prominent Persons. Paul Mills. Provost, in addition to those candidates presented to you here, I commend you to the other candidates listed in absentia for the conferment of their various awards. On the authority of the Vice-Chancellor of Bath Spa University, I confer the awards of those candidates here present and those in absentia. Graduates, you may now remove your hats and celebrate in the time-honoured way. I'd like to close this ceremony with an Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may your God hold you in the palm of his hand. I declare this ceremony now closed. Please, would you stand for the academic procession? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm-hmm. 